Good afternoon, Stephanie. This is your machine, the Breville Barista Express BES870 in black. I'm sure you've seen the photos, but it's very close to new. I'll give it a 9 out of 10. Um, condition is very good on the left, right hand side, on the top as well, on the front plate, on this back plate. The only wear and tear that I can see is some very light scratching right here. That's about it. Um, it comes with all the accessories as we discussed, uh, except the milk jug. Um, I might have a spare one um, for $10. I'll have to look for it though. Uh, so do let me know if you're interested, um, if you don't have one already. Cool, uh, I've given the machine some beans and water. I've already done all the testing and um, the servicing required. Machine is very clean as we discussed, still under warranty um, and it needs nothing. It's already heated up. Usually it takes about 30 seconds to warm up. Um, just empty this. I like to start my sessions with a blank shot. So that's a press of the double cup button without any coffee in the handle. Um, and this will warm up the machine a little bit by running the hot water through the system. It will warm up your handle and the cup if you put it underneath. Um, and it will also clean any dirt and oils. So it's a win-win-win. I recommend doing it every time. I do this before and after a coffee. Um, it'll keep the machine nice and happy. You can do it once or twice. This is the volume of the double cup button from the factory. Uh, but you can change that and I'm probably going to change that as well in this video um, it's pretty easy to do uh, but this, this is this factory settings and if you want if you ever want to go to back back to factory settings you just hold the program button right um, okay I'm gonna keep this on the side um, to keep my cup warm and I'll start by grabbing a tissue emptying the port filter and drying it out this is important to do before grinding your coffee. Um, I've got a scale here just to be um, consistent and show you how much coffee to put in. You don't really need a scale, uh, but it would help with uh, dialing in and getting the, good, the, the, the best coffee that you can. Um, this is the double cup single wall basket, which is the best one. It's the one you want to use for the best coffees, um, but it needs some adjustment. So you need to adjust your grinder for it. You need to get the right amount uh, and the right amount of pressure when you press in as well. So for this one, it's 18 grams of ground coffee. Uh, for a single, it's about 10 or 9. So this is 18. So turn on the scale. Calibrate the scale. Um, you can keep the grinder setting on the single or double. What I like to do is, uh, I like to keep it on single actually, even when I'm making a double, uh, because this way I can stop halfway, press the coffee down, um, and start again. This way it will be less, less of a mess, I guess. Um, just make sure it's covered. Cool. This is my first dose. This is about nine and a half, nine point three. So yeah, um, I guess it's okay to keep it here. Um, so that's the first time. The second time, I'll, I'll be getting the exact same amount, about nine grams. And you times that by two, you'll get eighteen grams of coffee. Um, I think um, you can change this just a little bit more or less, and it will depend on what bean you're using as well. The grind setting I have right now is number four, number one being the finest, um, and in the future you can change it on the inside as well, so don't worry too much. Uh, but at the moment it's at number four. Uh, and it looks fine enough for me. 
maybe it may need to go one notch finer, but I guess it'll give us a good coffee as is. I'm using fresh beans, freshly roasted from Coburg, so um, it'll come out nice, I know that. The fresher the bean, the better. Um, and if you use stale beans, you'll notice that they come out very badly and they taste very bad as well. So the fresher, the better. Um, one more time. my milk. Okay, um, this is my second grind. Let's see. Yep, it's 18.5. I'm happy with that. Um, this is an 18 gram basket. You can get up to 19 or as low as 17, something in that range. Um, I'm going to grab the tamper, press it down firmly and evenly. Firmly and evenly. And at the end, I'm going to twist and pull. So as you see, the surface is quite even and flat. There's no gaps. And um, I know it's 18 grams because I have a scale, but usually if you don't have a scale, a very good way to know what 18 grams looks like is via the tamper. So when you, when you tamp firm, if you've got 18 grams, the tamper will go as deep as this silver part most of the time. Um, this is a rough rule of thumb that I like to use if I don't have a scale with me. So as deep as the silver part on the tamper is how deep you want to go after you press. Um, this is what it looks like, about half a centimeter from the edge. If my tamper doesn't go as deep, then I have too much coffee. And if my tamper um, goes too deep, then I have too little coffee. Um, and that will change the flow of the coffee and the pressure. The pressure gauge is there to sort of guide you to get the right, the, the best coffee. Um, for the best coffee, I try to aim for around 12 o'clock, maybe 1 o'clock. So I would say in, in the 11 o'clock to 1 o'clock range. That's about 8 bars of pressure. You don't need to know the numbers, just know that it's up here around 12 o'clock is what you want to get. Um, also, need, you need to pay attention to the flow of the coffee. Um, so, as you saw, I, I put in the coffee and it stopped at um, 6 o'clock. I can actually push it to 5 o'clock even more to the to the right hand, to the right hand side. Uh, I don't want to force it though. So, with the amount of coffee I have, it can only go uh, to 6 o'clock. So, don't force it. Um, it's not good for the coffee or the machine. Um, yeah, so I want to get around 12 o'clock. And for the pour, I want it to be nice and consistent. It, like a constant stream of coffee. I don't want it to be black drops. Uh, very slow and I don't want, want it to be very quick like a river um, if it's very slow then that's probably too much coffee or too fine of a setting on the other hand if it's very quick and coming out like a river gushing out of the spouts then that probably means it's too little coffee or too coarse or sometimes it's just stale beans giving you a very fast flow rate um, okay so I'm going to split my espresso shot into two, just because I don't want to be over caffeinated. You know what? Don't worry about that. I'm going to put everything in here. I'll show you how to calibrate your coffee, your buttons. It's quite simple. Put in, grind the coffee, tamp, put the handle, um, and the way you do it on this machine, so you press program. You press program and then you press the button that you want to program. So one or two. I'm going to be programming the double cup button for you. So I'm going to press the double cup button. The machine will start giving me coffee. So, um, and I'm going to stop it when I'm happy with the volume. Keep an eye on the pressure gauge and the flow. Those will indicate how good this pour is. There we go. That's around one o'clock. Coffee's coming out nice and slow, like warm honey. And you can see the crema on that, it looks very nice. I'm going to stop it right there. I think that's about 40 grams. I forgot to mention, but um, see how we... Yeah, that's, that's, that's 45 grams, so a little bit too much. But that's alright, it's still manageable. Um, see how we ground... 
we, we grind 18 grams. I want to double that um, to get a decent cup. So double of 18 is 36. You can approximate it to 40. Um, that's sort of a two to one ratio. I don't want to get too, too deep into the numbers. Um, but yeah, pretty much just doubling the mass of your coffee into the liquid is a good rule of thumb. If that's too complicated, that's fine. It is too complicated, I have to admit. Just, um, you need to get about this much coffee for a double shot of espresso, about two centimeters from the base of the cup, depending on what cup you get. Um, yeah, and th this, this looks fine to me. Looks very good actually, with a lot of crema. Tastes very nice as well. Very fruity. Um, I forgot to mention, the machine also has a hot water spout. If you want to do an Americano or brew some tea, or if you want to pre-warm your mugs, you can do it, do it this way. Um, I'll just be adding some sugar. Let's do the milk now. Um, if you're not getting the jug from me, what I recommend is getting a steel jug or a metal jug at least. Uh, anything metal that will conduct quickly and won't give the milk any taste, like plastic, for example. Plastic would give taste to milk, so it's not really good. So, um, a metal jug or even a ceramic or glass mug, just um, as a temporary solution, anything that will help you feel the temperature. The technique is pretty, um, it's, a, it's, a, it's a learning curve, so um, you'll need to practice this if you don't know how to do it already. Um, I'm going to keep the wand close to the surface of the milk and try to create a vortex for the first 20 or so seconds. The machine, give the machine about 10-15 seconds to start steaming when you turn on the steamer. It'll get even stronger if you give it five more seconds. Yep, that's full pressure. So I'm going to turn it off and put my jug. You want to hear that hissing noise? And that's when I'm bringing the tip close to the surface, injecting air into the milk. And for a latte, I'm going to do it for about 20 seconds. If I do it longer, it will be a cappuccino. And then after the 20 seconds, I'm going to raise the jug. And now I'm not injecting any more air into the, into the um, milk. I'm just heating it up and spinning it around. And once I can't touch the, the milk, the, 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 the sides of the milk jug for more than half a second, so I can't touch it for more than half a second, I'll stop. And that's about 60 degrees Celsius. Before you finish, purge the milk, the milk wand, the steaming wand. So just turn it on to uh, purge out the milk from the insides. And very importantly, just grab a wet towel and wipe it straight away. If you wipe it later on, it will be very hard to remove.
done too easy. And as as I told you, after the after, at the end of your session, dump out the coffee, run a blank shot just to clean it, keep clean things up, and you're done. Hope you've um, found this video useful. Um, I'm sure you're, very, you're going to be very happy with the machine. I'm sure you, you'll enjoy it. Um, and in time, you'll be making very, very good coffees, just like the cafe. If you take care of the machine, it'll take care of you. Here's the milk. I'm just going to tap it down to break any bubbles. Spin it around to mix it up and pour. I think I've chosen a very small cup so I can't really fill it fully but I'm gonna show you what it looks like now. Here's my latte. Cheers. I'll see you very soon.